Hi, welcome to Weekend Tarot, 22nd and 23rd of June 2019. <laughs> God. Ah, <laughs> oh, got it out there. Normally when I say that, I've got the date wrong, so if I did, I did. I'm using the Cosmic Tarot. Here we go. Norbert Lush. Norbert Lush. There's also someone else. I thought it was two people. Oh, well, it's such a beautiful box. This is my sellotapey box that we've seen before, but I just love it. See, everything chewed and weird. Look at that. Warm. Yay. Nicely done. Okay. Feeling all 80s about it. Feeling like kind of under the table. I might have on pink stilettos and leg warmers on top, you know, that leg warmers just overlapping the top of my stiletto look. I love that look secretly. I can't really pull it off these days, but I used to rock that look. I love leg warmers. Do you remember skinny jeans, kind of faded, horrible snow wash, and then leg warmers pulled up over the top to the calf bits. I wonder if they're still doing that these days. I wonder if the kids are still wearing leg warmers. Okay, Cosmic Tarot taking us to the 80s. Do, 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 and all that stuff. Ooh. Hmm. Well, how very strange. Some of you told me who she was. The woman who played Wonder Woman. Oh, I like this reading. I've decided. It's funny because a lot of these cards came up yesterday. But in a different tarot. Okay. Middle of the reading. And a very different rendition than we had yesterday. But the same message, really. The Empress. Here she is again. The Mother card. I can't help but think that mothers may be featuring for us, okay? We're in the Cancerian season. Because alongside it, we get the chariot, which we got again yesterday. The same two major arcana cards. They're in the upright, so maybe after yesterday we did some tilting and some accepting and some getting down, like, remember the cow came up, didn't it? That gorgeous cow energy. Of course, you know, when we're younger and we're teenagers and we fall out with our mother, we do call her a cow sometimes or we do think it in our head. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, some of you that have lost a mother, maybe an anniversary time, just maybe for one or two of you. Because I did a Brian and Wendy Frude, Heart of the Fairy Oracle, Heart of my Bottom Oracle. I get the returning. Yes, I'm trying to think, and I shouldn't mention it if I don't know the title, but I'm going to find it and maybe you know it. Carol Ann Duffy, I've talked about this poem before, a poem about losing her mother. And she's in a graveyard and her mother comes back out in her nighty, And it's a, I can't remember the title of it, Carol Ann Duffy. If I remember because I should actually just print this poem out and have it in my little poem stash. It's incredible, okay? It's an incredible poem. Now, it may not be that your mother has passed. It's to do with when you get the returning. It's a really interesting card for me. Really interesting. The story in the Brian and Wendy Frude book is about coming back to a place or coming back to a room, a bit like in a dream if you go back to school, but being a different person, having changed your internal landscape and how that changes in a way, how you perceive your external landscape and how your mother may have contributed to that, okay? There is a strange symbiosis here in the reading and as we come into eclipse season and Cancerian season, it just feels resonant. Things your mother taught you, 
ways that you are separating from that advice. Strange message, I know not very kind of paint by numbers, but definitely resonating with one or two people. We will say get the challenge. It is a challenge to move beyond your mother's limitations, particularly if you have a lot of love and respect for her, as most of us do, no matter what the relationship was like with her. But it feels like that's what we're being called to do during probably the whole of this Cancerian June, July, Mercury retrograde, Neptune retrograde eclipse. That's my obviously all my retrograde and eclipse mimes season. It feels like that. And also those of you who are experiencing some form of motherhood and that can go for anyone, any gender actually, because there are different times we mother people, we mother animals, we mother children, we mother ourselves. It's about that. It's about how we're nurturing. How are we nurturing ourselves, number one? How are we nurturing others? How are we moving beyond what we know and what we've been taught about what it is to nurture. Poof. Poof, that's all I can say, it's like woof. Okay. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the single happy person, the independent female card. It is a female card, this. Again, it's about your female energy, whether you're male or female. And it is to do with being able to look after yourself, but it's also being able to look after others. There's a big thing about that in this reading, being able to look after yourself and your desire or ability to look after others. Five of Cups in reverse. Past sorrows and hurts and spills. And even this, you know, has a kind of <coughs> lonely mother feeling about it. For some of us, this is to do with the sacrifices that our mother may have made. For others of us, this is to do with the sacrifices we may have made. But for all of us, and this, you know, isn't very prescriptive, but it feels like a feminine evolution of sorts. And feminine evolutions are pretty hard to track. <laughs> Don't know if you've noticed that, but they're not linear and they're not obvious. And... They are a bit otherworldly. That's why this reading won't cooperate and put, go into a, a kind of a coherent story. So apologies to you if you're thinking, what is she talking about today? But I'm hoping that you're with me. Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Some form of triangulation. Could be you, mother, sister. Could be you your mother, you as a mother. There's some form of triangulation here moving out. When triangulation is moving out of a situation, it means that you are becoming a person within yourself. You are becoming whole because triangulation can only happen when somebody can split your energy or when your energy is split, okay? Finding your whole energy, that's very Cancerian. It's very feminine. We had it yesterday with the cow just sitting and being, okay? Princess of Cups or Linda Carter. <laughs> Love it. Princess of Cups, of course, that scrying, feeling, and also slightly kind of psychic. It's definitely not, <clears throat> it's not colouring within the lines, okay? This is where... This is where you kind of rip up the colouring book and you splodge the colour all over the walls. I'm not suggesting you do that, by the way. But you might feel like it. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> this is just what your mother would say if you were young and were going to splodge the colour all over the walls. <laughs> Clean it up. <laughs> there is a certain clearing and cleaning up of energies. Do you remember we had the nine of feathers yesterday and we had the ten of feathers in reverse you may no longer wish to be the line lineage bearer for your mother's anxieties and that's not to say I remember we had forgiving your parents yesterday as well didn't we 
And that's not to say there is any rejection of her or her memory. It's not like that. It's not even about that. God, okay. For some of you, this um, there are signs and resonances of, of music. It may be your mother was a musician, you're a musician, or there is a song that comes on. Uh, the music card is always quite specific and quite random at the same time, okay? But it's important. There is a musical connection because we also get harmony. <laughs> I know. Some of you, you may have used to, you may <clears throat> have used to sing with your mother or play with your mother or she liked to listen to music or she still does okay signs there is a certain healing of this relationship and that doesn't mean making it better or changing it it usually means that you are becoming whole that you are returning whole rather than triangulated, half-finished, incomplete, okay? You become whole. Please leave me a comment for this reading because it's definitely been one of my more ethereal readings, okay? But you know what it's like in Gemstone Tarot, we go where the wind blows, okay? So leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're still here, and I'll see you next time. Namaste.